I, Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent I object. to revise my I remarks object. in support I of the that is no There's mother. No request before the House yet. Mr. Speaker, as soon as it parliamentary is. inquiry. Gentlewoman Mr. Speaker, from parliamentary Cal inquiry. Gentlemen's out of order. The gentlewoman from California will Ready continue. Order, please. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that my remarks I to revise my remarks in support of reform that ensures that no I mother object. will ever have her I child's object. care denied I because object. of a pre-existing condition. I object. Mr. Speaker, may Obje we have object. order? Objection is heard. Yep. Mr. Speaker. Chair wants to, Chair wants to remind my colleagues we're going to try and have a fair and orderly debate. The chair is going to remind my colleagues that every member has a right to place a unanimous consent request before the House. The chair is going to pr protect that right for the majority, and the chair is going to protect that right for the minority. And if delay occurs at this moment, it appears to the chair that the delay occurs less on the, on the chair's right than it does on the chair's left. The chair will observe that if the gentleman is concerned about speeding the business of the House, the business of the House can best be speeded by allowing the unanimous consent requests to be made. This parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman will state his inquiry. At the time that, the, that a unanimous consent request is made, the Speaker has apparently determined that the, the statement, as soon as it is completed, does not allow for a reservation. Is it not, under the rules of the House, appropriate for a member of the House to reserve well, a right to object based upon a unanimous consent request? Chair is, the chair is going to instruct the gentleman lightly upon the rules of the House by observing that reservations must be made in a timely fashion. It Further is, inquiry, Mr. Is, Speaker. The chair is not done ruling. And the chair will protect the rights of the gentleman to assert timely object objections or to proceed in an appropriate manner under the rules. I yield one minute, or yield to the gentlelady from California, Ms. Napolitano, for a unanimous consent request. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to revise my remarks in support of health care reform that eliminates out-of-pocket costs for osteoporosis screenings. Without objection, so ordered. Mr. Speaker, I yield, one, uh, yield to the gentlelady from Ohio, Ms. Kilroy, for a unanimous consent request. Gentlemen, is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask unanimous Mr. consent Speaker, to reserving re the right to object. Gentlemen right will object. state his reservation. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'd like. Regular order is demanded, and the chair is going to make this observation for the benefit of my colleagues. After a demand for the regular order, a reservation of objection may long, no longer be entertained. A member must either object or withdraw the reservation. Mr. Speaker, I, I have reserved the right to object. Am I allowed to be heard under that reservation at this juncture? The, the, that the chair regrets cannot be done because it, the chair has heard a demand for the regular order, which precludes that. We're going to get so down Mr. into Speaker, the business. I, I cannot reserve the right to object to the unanimous requ consent request. This is the demand for the regular order has been entertained. Mr. Speaker, I reserve the right to object and wish the to be heard under my reservation. Chair rules that out of order, and the chair makes the observation that uh, since a demand for the regular order has been made, reservations may no longer be raised. 